I'm really considering is, uh, is uh, people in Stockton that are unaware of kind of like the history, um, especially the Philippine Americans and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, so while while trying to uh, educate the community, it, it, it's kind of cool because I'm also going to try to get a degree, <laughs> a master's degree at the same time, and also get a lot of film experience and all that kind of stuff. So it's serving a lot of purposes, and, and the hope is that maybe, just maybe, we can make this a bigger project. Um, and if we could attract people that are down, the other thing would expand it and make it a full-length feature. So what's the inspiration behind this whole story? Inspiration is um, basically, I guess, just my background with my dad and um, something that I got turned on to, just learning about you know, the past and all that kind of stuff and the fact that I knew way more about everyone else's culture and their past, and I didn't know anything about mine. And so um, there's not much out there. Uh, that talks about, especially narrative films, if, there, if any, uh, <laughs> that talk about Philippine American history. And so, you know, might as well do it. I mean, I'm, I'm living in the town uh, where it all took place. Um, um, I have the, the genes. So my dad was actually uh, one of those guys who were here. Um, I have memories from my past, um, hanging out with my dad, him taking me to um, uh, some of the places where all the, the old guys used to hang out. So. Um, and we'll be shooting, thought, will we be shooting at one of those places? Uh, yeah, we're going to be shooting at the Gohoi Lodge, and, um, which is a really cool place, and I'm sure you'll see it further down the road. <laughs> it's our, it's our, uh, two shoots from now. But um, it's, uh, I don't know, I think, I think part of it is just actually fit, um, uh, I fit a niche that, <laughs> that, that, that needs, you know, doing. You know, you want to do stuff that, that uh, kind of no one's, nor not that many people have done. So, that's where, that's where it comes in. This is Uncle Jerry Pilar, right here. This is uh, America. <laughs> America. I feel like Bernie Mac. Get a little closer anyway. to it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is, this is our, our, our star right here. Our, our star of the, of the film. We're trying to uh, create a little um, slice of life of uh, Philippine American history and, uh, and present time. And, uh, I have a little statement for, for today's generation of young Filipinos and maybe the past, uh, past generations as well. And yeah, he's our, he's our, our mano, even though he's second generation. So, outside the uh, <coughs> set of uh, the Game of Solitaire, also aka uh, Dylan's mom's house. So what's your mom going to think about all this? After she sees all the, what's going on in her house, um, she's gonna be like, "It's all right because like the aftermath is gonna be. Hopefully everything's gonna be in place when she gets back. Hopefully. So <clears throat> her freakout moment would take place if she was here right now. Oh okay. But she's out of the country right now. So that's good. So it's perfect because like right now no one would be getting any work done because if my mom was here she'd be trying to feed everyone. <laughs> see, like she wouldn't care that we have a lot of work to do and we're gonna be here all day and stuff. What would she you just want to see. What would you think about all these people wandering around in her yard? Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> actually, what she'd really think, well, what she'd project is, oh, everyone eat, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> just knowing, like, the real Filipino mom, but deep down inside, she's like, you know, if I was a little kid, well, maybe even now, she'd be, like, pinching me, like, without anyone seeing me, you know, just be the secret face. <laughs> you know, why are they on the... How come they unplug everything? And that's the other thing, too. I have to beat my mom to the PG&E so. Well, does she know you're shooting here? Yeah, I told her. Okay. But I don't really think she knows what's involved. Because all she's ever known is kind of like, my DV camera is hooked up to a, a tripod. <laughs> <laughs> if she'd see this, she'd freak. <laughs> I think she'd get a kick out of it. Yeah. See, this is, she'd freak out on that. So this is... This, these are your dedicated PAs. <laughs> yeah. What are what are your PAs doing? They're, they're really busy here. <laughs> they're ready to and willing to just you know they're like the reserves. They're like the guys in the army right now. You know, 
Okay. You're just waiting to be called, and then... I don't know. I think they'd look more like Caltrans if you said that, right? <laughs> oh, there you King go. Donuts. Yeah, this is your taxpayer money at work. <laughs> right here. Hey, what are you talking about, my friend? I'm loading a friggin' cab. That's right, see? See, I'm working here. That's right. <laughs> We're doing something really illegal over here. Hello? Hello? We're oh, losing. I heard that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done? Currently. <laughs> <laughs> my mom will there now. That's why I'm here. So are you, are you glad to be in this uh, film? Yes, I am. She I think it's a that. very good story. Yay. And Dylan begged you. It's a little corny. No, he didn't beg me, actually. I actually thought I wasn't going to... Um, <laughs> be picked because when I auditioned for him, I was hacking and coughing and like blowing my nose every two seconds. It was a really, really weird audition. Actually, that helped you out. So. <laughs> <laughs> she's this good when she's sick. Think of what's yeah. to come. Yeah. yeah. I, was, I felt sorry for you. <laughs> oh, is that it? Oh, we gotta give him the, the pity. Thought, nah, she felt sorry for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, she did. She felt sorry for you. <laughs> That's probably what it came down yeah. to. Yeah. No, I like the story, and it gives me something to do this weekend. And I am here on a mission to awaken the dead. Many people have done it at night, and I'm going to attempt to do it midday. We're shooting a goth film. I'm not in costume yet. Okay, the guy just came up to me, and he was just concerned because uh, he was just hoping that I... Uh, that we that we shot during the week because there's less people and stuff. And in a way, we were kind of well. He didn't really say we were being disrespectful, but basically that's what it came down to. <laughs> and um, um, yeah, because you know his son is buried here. So your father's buried here, right? Yeah, my father's buried. Here. Yeah, that's right. My dad's buried here. We're not being dis disrespectful, are we? Well, I think, we I think some take... people come here for you know a quiet moment to be with a thing, and like we're the... not such. We're not creating a quiet moment. What, like the people over there that have Maybe their dog? Maybe on film, but not in reality. Huh? Like the people over there that have their dog with them? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I saw some people out back. The dog, like, took a, yeah. a whiz on yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So why, why, what's so important about shooting in this uh, cemetery? It's the closing shot. <laughs> Gotta end somewhere, right? Yeah, it's the closing well, shot. Well, what, what's so important about it? What's so important? Well, because she visits her dad. That's the whole thing. She never did. Is she going to do a vo voiceover for this? Yes, this is all voiceover. Okay, cool. Yeah, voiceover. Okay, cool. Yeah. It's a very, very closing shot. And, um... Yeah. She has this long voiceover. And uh, hopefully it's poignant. Okay. Yeah. So we're at day three. How are you feeling about your project? I'm a little, uh... I'm a little scared about my extras. I don't know if, um... I don't know if they're called coming. Um, I hate to say it, but I think they're on Filipino time, and, uh, <laughs> and uh, that 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 means uh, that's a bad thing for me. <laughs> so uh, that and the, um, yeah, I think that's all I'll say about that. I just thought of a shot, and uh, it's gonna add some more to the production time. But I'm hoping that uh, we can get everything done. But, uh, it might add a lot to the. Production time. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so oh, far, huh? so, 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 so far, how much is this costing you? <laughs> Besides a computer. <laughs> so far, um, I think I'm over seven grand. I'm over seven grand. Wow. And I'm projecting over ten for the whole thing. That's, you know, because I haven't, you know, um, well, still got to develop develop the film and I still got to uh, do telecine, which is really expensive. And, um, and uh, what else? Yeah, and we have one more, sh we have one more shoot as well. Oh, I'm making donations to the place too. So, ah. Yeah. So. Are, are you there. taking donations yet? <laughs> I don't know. No. No. I'm, so, so are you I'm too nervous. Are you financing all this yourself? Yes. I'm financing it completely. Oh my God. Yeah, that's okay. It's uh, been uh, 14 hours already. How are you feeling? Uh, 14 hours? Is that, is that it? That's, that's it. We're doing all right. No, I'm feeling like... <laughs>
What's up with the blue screen? Okay, we're uh, gonna make this guy disappear. So they're gonna be he's gonna uh, this is the scene with George R. Binks. He comes in and he says, "Hey, uh, who's show? I mean, I'm uh, George Lucas <laughs> or whatever he does. Hey, club, I can't make George Lucas. And he still want a cage match with him and Nico. Are we gonna get everything done today? Oh, I don't have a choice. I really don't have a choice. You mean you can't afford? I already made a couple compromises. So. Yeah. Can I give um, Marita a break for a minute to take care of some makeup issues? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, so yeah. we don't need it. Yeah. That's a wrap. Where's the beer? Yeah, what happened to the beer? Um, no, I don't know. I think it's. I think it might be here. Or I thought someone was supposed to go get it. Okay. Deb, you alcoholic. Deb got it. Dylan, I have to tell you that I had a wonderful time taping today. You are the greatest director I've ever worked with, and if I ever win an Academy Award, you are gonna be the person I thank. Okay. Sabuhay ko'y labis Ang hirap at pasakit